Hey everybody, my name is Mike. And for the longest time, I've wanted to do a video blog sharing some thoughts and ideas that I've had. Now you're probably over there thinking, especially if you don't know me, who is this guy and what exactly is it that he wants to talk about? Well, on the surface, I'm really nothing special. I'm a middle-aged guy, lives in the middle of the desert of Tucson, Arizona. I have been married 11 years to my lovely wife, Corey. We don't have any children, but we have two dogs. They keep us on our toes. We have a uh, pit bull mix named Layla and a chihuahua mix by the name of Scampy. Um, and they are like our kids, and they definitely keep us going. Uh, I work in the medical business industry. I process medical claims. I love reading about theology and philosophy. I also like reading fiction. I love video games, good movies uh, regularly. And not all of that is much different than anybody else, but there is something that seems to set me apart from other people that I know. And it's not something that you would typically notice about me. In fact, Many of my friends and acquaintances, when they first meet me and I tell them about this thing, they're like, oh, I never would have guessed. But it is something that allows me to see the world from a different vantage point from other people. See, I was born with autism spectrum disorder. Now, that's something that a lot of people talk about now because there's a lot more information about it. Back in 1977, when I came into the world, autism was not a gnosis. So when I was nonverbal and I started speaking later than what the normal typical schedule was, my parents didn't really know what to make of that. So I spent much of my beginning of life years going to psychologists and uh, child therapists, occupational therapists. Uh, I spent it in a special school uh, for, you know, physically and mentally handicapped kids, um, learning just how to speak, uh, how to express myself, how to get by in the world with my peers because those things were not tools that I had readily available. Now, in subsequent video posts, I'm going to talk about my youth, my birth. Uh, you might find it interesting to know that I was actually born post-mature. I was supposed to be delivered on October the 8th, and I wasn't born until November the 2nd which caused some subsequent issues, possibly even my autism. Uh, I'm also going to talk about some of the things that I've had to overcome in life in the hopes that maybe if you're a parent of, of a child who has autism or if you're autistic yourself, uh, that you won't find yourself <clears throat> feeling like you're living in because I really do truly believe uh, that there is a lot of opportunity in life for just about anybody who puts their mind to it. I'm also really interested in talking about the marriage of autism and mental illness. Uh, since I was about 30 years old, I've suffered from generalized anxiety disorder. Uh, and a couple of years ago, I added to my collection moderate major depressive disorder. Um, so I'm being held up today by two psychotropic medications, and I always love to tell people that, yes, I am on mind-altering substances. <laughs> and what else? I, I like to share my thoughts on my views and my lens from a spiritual standpoint. How difficult is it for somebody who is based in his rational mind to think about esoteric and uh, non-tangible ideas like God and the Holy Spirit and the afterlife and the supernatural and how do I marry those things? How do I 
stay a committed Christian while dealing with a lot of crushing. I certainly plan to talk about heavy subjects like bullying. I'm sure that suicide, suicidal is something that will come up. But even if, whether we go light or heavy, whether we're talking about philosophy or theology, or we're talking about everyday getting by, uh, my purpose, my aim, is to inspire people like me, or people in similar situations, or parents of children who are like me, or neurotypic people who maybe don't understand what neurodiversity is and how to better engage it. I want this to be a place where we're not afraid to share stories. One of the things that I plan on doing eventually is inviting other people onto my my video podcast, I guess, or whatever you want, or whatever, uh, and stories about their mental health troubles. I think that by listening to stories, we broaden our scope of what reality and life is. That's kind of what I hope to do. Uh, in the meantime, if you have any questions or if you have any subjects that you would like for me to talk about, you can comment here. Uh, you can also reach me by email. My email address is Mike Wise, that's M-I-K-E-W-I-S-E 77 at gmail.com. Be happy to hear from you. Um, would love to have some of your ideas for subjects to talk about or any questions that you might have any encouragement that you would have, or if you're a troll, feel free to write me. <laughs> It'll just go to the spam folder. <laughs> I hope to do episodes. Is that what that would be called? I don't know. Uh, weekly, maybe even two times a week, depending upon what's on my mind. Um, I've never tried this before, so... I'm just kind of winging it. Well, I look forward to our ongoing discussions. And wherever you're at in your life, I hope it's good. Talk soon.